The overall goal of this protocol is to isolate specific subpopulations of adipose-derived stromal cells and test their osteogenic activity using an in vivo assay. This method can be used to answer key questions in the field of craniofacial regenerative biology, such as how adipose-derived stem cells can be used to create fully functional bone tissue in damaged bone defects. The main advantage of this technique is that the cells are rapidly isolated from fresh human tissue. This way the cells avoid spending time in cell culture, which is known to alter gene and cell surface marker expression. The implications of this technique extend to patients that have large bone defects as caused by cancer, trauma, or infection. In the future, it might be possible to isolate subpopulations of ASCs and use them in a regenerative fashion. Visual demonstration of this technique is critical, as creation of the calvarial defect is difficult to learn, mainly because the defect is created on a domed skull and because it's very close to the dura mater. For this protocol, have abdominal, flank, or thigh subcutaneous fat collected from a healthy human donor and stored in a plastic suction canister. To the fat, add an equal volume of sterile PBS and mix it with gentle agitation for 30 seconds. Allow the aqueous layer to settle and then remove it using a 10 milliliter plastic pipette. Then. Decant the fat into a large plastic container and add an equal volume of digest mixture. Clean the sealed fat container with 70.